The normal people have not been given the rightful position in the affairs of Benue State, but in the history of the state, we have not had it this bad under the current leadership of Father Hassan Alia. It is on this note, I want to say it is a crying shame that Benue State has become the personal property of one man who allocates government positions to his family members and friends. A man whose calling as a priest is to preach unity, fairness, and equity. Governor Hassan Alia has instead of uniting the state and making it an example as a man of God that he should be and expected to be has elevated nepotism and hatred against the dominant speaking people of Benue State to a statecraft and made corruption an instrument to be glorified. It will interest you to know that Governor Alia, since assumption of office on May 29, 2003, has embarked on skilled appointment as majority of the key appointments have gone to his Kian state constituency, a part of Vadekia local government where Father Alia comes from. It is even believed in Vadekia local government area where Father Alia comes from that he is marginalizing the majority of that local government. Let me, for the purpose of emphasis, reel out the following appointments which Father Alia has made in his constituency, in his care state constituency within Vandekia local government area. Number one, Abba Emmanuel Tile, Auditor General of the State, Dennis Akura, Special Advisor, Bureau on Local Government and Chief Council Affairs, Emmanuel Agema, Acting Chairman, Board of Internal Revenue from his care constituency, Grace Adagba, Chairman, Benin State Universal Basic Education Board, Subed, from his care constituency in Vandekia Local Government, Raymond Asemaka, MD, Benue Investment and Property Company Limited, BIPC, from his care constituency, Emmanuel Chenge, Principal Private, Principal Private Secretary, from his care constituency, James Yopu, Executive Secretary, State Emergency Management Agency, from his care constituency, Stephen Numeve, State Project Coordinator, Rural Access and Cultural Marketing Project, from his care constituency, Tenengo Mende, Acting GM, Urban Development Board, from his care constituency, Professor Gabriel Akpe, DG, Bureau of Special Projects and Infrastructure, from his care constituency, in Vadekia Local Government, Leonard Ajelo Vyashima, Head of Benin State International Cooperation and Development Coordinating Unit, from his care constituency, Jonathan Giuse, Special Advisor, Poverty Elevation, from his care state constituency, Isaac Akanga, Special Advisor, Local Government Market Coordination, from his care state constituency, in Vadekia Local Government, Tenve Aginde, Special Advisor, Politics and Community Engagement, from his care state constituency, Joseph Ha, Special Advisor on Internal Security, from his care state constituency, uh, uh, Ma Fate Kaha Estofi, Senior Special Assistant on Culture from his care constituency, Gwaza Ujamatu, SSA, Bureau of Local Government and Chief Council Affairs from his care state constituency, Julius Agbata, State Chairman, National Union of Road Transport uh, Workers, appointed by the governor, first time in the history of Benin State for a governor to even be appointing the head of the Agbonus all from his care constituency. Now, this he has taken to only care constituency. Tell me, distinguished and fellow Nigerians, what is therefore left for the people of Zosi, the Doma speaking side, where I come from? The glaring nepotism in the appointment has attracted widespread condemnation from all segments of the state who have seen the development as a slap on democracy. But that has not bothered the governor in any way. Before Governor Alia came into office, there was a long-standing tradition of carrying all stakeholders, including the State Working Committee of the political party in power and party elders in the process of selecting people to be part of the government, either as cabinet members or as other political office holders. Governor, Governor Alia has seen as rubbish 
that process which has always made things easy and acceptable to the people in a democracy. Though he's a reverend father, we wonder why a man who had no political platform to pursue his ambition now has total disregard for the party that gave him the space and grant to launch his political career is now operating a one-man show without carrying even the cabinet members that he has appointed into office. Today, as we speak, Christmas is four days away from here. Even members of his cabinet are hungry. It is indeed sad that the governor, alias disregard for the party leadership, comes with total disdain to openly claim that he practically helped the APC to power in many states. <coughs> Level of financial mafias going on in the administration of Governor Alia. Many of you have seen, you have read on the pages of newspaper, even recently, Sarah reporters, how much Governor Alia, a man of God, has spent on his personal vehicles. Nobody from the state to this moment has disproved that. If not, if this level of corruption or other for the Alia is not checked, this can crumble the economy of Benin State in the near future. As lawmakers. We are aware that huge sums of money have been accrued to various state in form of federal allocations, palliatives, and other interventions for the Tinubu administration since Governor Alia assumed power. But his lack of respect for due process, transparency, and accountability is again a blow on the state resources. Sadly, Governor Alia has not told anyone what has accrued to the state in the past six months and how he has expended the funds. He has remained silent on what the state weight bill is and has also dodged any inquiry into the state internally generated revenue. Benue allocation has tremendously increased, but there is nothing to show for it. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in the middle of all this, the governor has been immersed in reckless spending and contract inflation. Even the prices of the refurbished buses, which he claimed to buy at over 3.5 billion naira as part of the money given to Benue State, following the removal of fuel subsidy as palliatives, were clearly inflated. We challenge him to come out clearly and disprove us. To give credence to that, he refused to tell the people how much each of the refurbished buses cost. Even the other items that were said to be given to the state by the federal government for distribution to, vulnerable, to the vulnerable to cushion the effect of fuel subsidy removal are suspected to have been divided by his cronies. Governor Alia also approved a whoopee three billion naira for the purchase of vehicles for himself and his cabinet members in an administration that rode to power, or what we can boldly describe, to, that rode to power with a promise to cut the cost of governance. The man has spent a mind-blowing 40 billion naira from sources on what we can boldly describe as frivolities without due process. The reckless mismanagement of funds meant for local government is another chapter that is worrisome and characteristic of Governor Alia 